from the three kids. Last ago. question. Right. Um, just give me Ready? what's what's your expectation for the season? Like, what's your definition of a successful season? For me, for me. Go ahead, no, go ahead. Uh, for me. Uh, we're gonna take one more year, okay. and we're gonna get a top five pick and get one of these bomb ass guards who actually can shoot Which a one? three. Which one? Which uh, one? My take is I want I want um, either Colt, no Lamelo or Anthony Edwards, one of those two. Okay. Because I need we my need about to be real we need a, 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 three, a three level my score. I want, I want a three level guy, a three level score like with uh, with potential like to be a star. Okay. Oh, so I like it all. All three of them. Yeah, right, so you gotta get that three level guy. Which is I'm cool with that. I, here's success. my thing. I want Lamelo by way of Pelicans getting Zion. Uh, so if we get like you know we win like 30, not even maybe like 29, 30 games. So we're like you know maybe eight, nine, ten a lottery. But because of the new rules, we shoot up to three. Yeah. I'm cool with that. That's right, all. Right, I right. take it like okay. that. Um, Can't finish no worse than seven. Man, that's what I'm saying. Like honestly, like I'm gonna take the easiest answer and probably everyone's answer. I, as long as we just at least at least see 20 plus wins. Okay. That's I'll take it. Bar. That's my three more wins. Look, man. Look, man. Look. It's in the real. Like I said, I'm the, I, look, that, that'll that make me All right. okay. Okay. Now, um, I think we'll do better than that, but definition yeah. of success. My right? success, I mean, my definition, well, it is my success. The success is my success. For me, I want all of our young guys, Mitch, RJ, Frank, Kevin, I want them all. This is the year that they should build their confidence and that they, that they in themselves know that we are New York Knicks players. Uh -huh. Nobody's going to come to the Garden no more and then this is a showcase game. That day is, that day is over. Like, if we this year? This, this is the start. If, if, if we do another tanking season, that's going to set us back another 10 years. I guarantee you. Competitive tank. That means like a lot of no, no, close no, games will still lose. We, we, right now, right now, that's why I want to thank Kadeem Allen too. Kadeem Allen, I want to thank um, Moutier. This, this thing. Moutier they, drove the tank with a blindfold on. This oh, year, yeah. we're going to know how to steer it. We're going to be tankable. We're going to actually tank have it. Yeah. Yeah. Competitive tank. You got to strike. You got to strike. So, you know, at the end of the day, I just want all of our guys to like feel like I want them to feel like they're representing New York, and, and, and to represent it means to protect the garden. You gotta protect the garden, yeah. mm. you know. And Frank is a part of that. It's like the, the, the small things that Frank have, has done that are that are great has been eclipsed by all the bad games he has, and I can't blame him. The moment that he came in here, there was a coaching switch, and during the coaching switch, it was tank mode. You know, like they, you know. So we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But for me, I want all our young guys to start. And unfortunately, both coaches didn't really believe. It. It, Right, right. All right, Wes. All right, so when you say successful, all right, so my, my definition of a successful season. Now, there's a few different definitions to what people perceive tanking to be. Now, the last year we were straight up tanking. I don't think the New Orleans Pelicans were tanking all of last year. I think they were trying to win. Mm -hmm. But they ended up with the first overall pick in the draft. So in one scenario, a similar season to what the Pelicans had last year, mm -hmm. as long as the guys who play playing the bulk of the minutes, down the stretch are our young guys and they're the ones who are developing and if we win 30 yeah, some odd maybe. games and then we find ourselves back in the lottery because we got pushed up to me it's a successful season yeah, okay. i think we still need more uh roster acquisitions more skilled players more difference makers maybe just one like you know what i mean like the atlanta hawks have trey young and collins like yeah. those two dudes are difference makers I, pillars exactly i look at I look at RJ as a potential legitimate pillar. I don't think Knox is a pillar. I think he's a, a great role player, a great, you know, outside shooter. But we need another young pillar without having to look out to free agency. So it might benefit us to end up in a lottery again. Uh, Cole Anthony. But not, <laughs> but not, you know, deliberately tanking and, and, and humiliating ourselves. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. It, like it, I said, driving it, the tank blindfolded. Don't the, do that. The draft is, is like seven deep this year. Six, six. James Wiseman's going first, and then you got five or six guards coming after him. Cole. So I'll be content with Cole Anthony, LaMelo, Anthony Edwards, RJ yeah. Hampton, Edwards. any one of them dudes. I'll be content with them as, as, a, as our point guard. You know, somebody who actually hit a shot, who could, who could mesh better with uh, with R.J. Barrett moving forward. So right. if we win 32 to 35 games and the young guys get the bulk of the minutes, and let's say Mitchell Robinson leads the league in blocks, you know what I mean? We, we win a couple of awards, maybe maybe Trier gets the sixth man of the year, or, you know, and, and, and the media starts to recognize us for once, and we have something to build upon, and then we land a top five pick, 
I think that's a good position for us to go moving forward. Like, I like that. Well said. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll post on there. I'll post yeah. on there. Eric? I mean, as you said, successful season. Well, I think it's a given that we're going to miss the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Um, Nobody <laughs> said playoffs yet. Yeah. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just throwing it over. That's a given. You know what I mean? I don't want to say, you know, 10 or X amount of numbers more is success because it's like. So I said 20 plus. Well, number one, the East got weaker. <laughs> and our team is completely different. So if you go from Lance Thomas to Julius, Moudier to Dennis, you're going to get probably 10 more, you know what I'm saying? 10 yeah. more games. You're not going to be as trash as 17 games, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm not really going to put success on wins and losses and stuff like that. I think it's a successful year if we could use this year to determine who our long-term point guard prospect is going to be. You know what I mean? If we determine that but with this year, regardless of the wins and losses, that's a success. Because then we'll be like, okay, we'll move forward with this, with this one at the point. Right now, they're juggling. Right now. So um, use the season to figure that out because no one's expecting Major, major wins or nothing like that this year. Okay. All right, Chris. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with, I don't think, to me, a successful season is not going to be about wins or losses. I think it's about an identity, and I know that word's been thrown a lot around a lot the last couple of years, but I mean more like an identity within the roster. Like I said, who are going to be the guys on this team going forward? Are they going to play? I think a successful year comes down to making the right personnel decisions about guys who are, who are here now, who aren't here. Um, and, and let's just talk about the elephant in the room is the less James Dolan involvement the better the less that we stay out of the newspaper for reasons that have not nothing to do with basketball for arenas that have nothing to do with the Knicks for PR statements that have nothing to do with the Knicks the less we have of that the better off we will be because as you show in free agency this is not a place you guys want to be zero percent chance it hasn't happened in 19 years and you'll find something it's not going to happen and to be honest with you guys what I think is going to happen it's going to be a fucking dumpster fire like it's going to be it's going to be I think ugly than people imagine. We all optimistic, we hope for the best, but there's a chance that Dallas could play well, there's a chance that Brazingas could be, continue to be the star he was showing. You're going to have Brooklyn doing his thing, and the Knicks will be sitting at eight wins in February. I said 20 wins. That's why I think, like you said, it doesn't matter wins or I think wins matter a lot. Yeah. You know well, I mean, like, in that sense. In that sense, I, mean, I think wins matter a lot. I'm expecting. You're not going to be Charlotte bad. Yeah. No. I'm right. Charlotte will be better. No, 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 no way. No, like no they, way. Their, their defensive five that they put out there is not bad. Their, their starting five they put out there is not bad defensively. They ain't got no, they got no 20 point guy though. That's yeah. hard. Jeremy, Jeremy Lamb running things. Is he still there? No, no he's he's there. Oh, oh, he's, uh, The best Pace, score is Pace, Marvin. The highest score was Marvin and Cody Zeller. Jeremy Lamb. 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 Je
yeah. contending team who had an injury or who needs a, a depth uh, rotation piece for the for the playoff push. Improving on our weaknesses, especially on defense, especially on defense. We, we were dead last in every defensive statistic. You gotta develop on everything. Yeah, yeah, on every defense. But, but I think, but why I say defense is because that will be part of us establishing our identity. Yep. You know what I mean? What is going to be our calling card? Like, what is it going to be that we're going to be doing? Yeah. That was Fizz's calling card coming in. Yeah. We got, but we have to show that on the court. Yeah, at least the Magic, they show they play, they play defense. We have to show that in the court. So at the end of the day, if we get all those things and then we get back into the lottery, then yeah. you know, it's anybody's game, right? We, don't, we, we never know what it is. Well, the best part is Ninja P, so far, all of our second draft picks have been huge successes. Right? So far. We'll be all right. So far, he's hit on it. So far, he's hit on it. Iggy got nice. Iggy got Yeah. All right, David. Well, last but not least. RJ Barrett, Rookie of the Year. Okay. Put it down. Put it down. Uh, I, let's say Zion has kind of an up and down year. He's beat up. I can see RJ being rookie of the year, and I think that would be huge for the narrative that we, oh, we got the third pick, and we can't get killed on that. If the if the defensive numbers go up, uh, and uh, I mean, look, if we get thirty wins, that's that. I, I don't think that will happen, but that would be so huge. I'd be hyped. Uh, that would be huge. You got less. Twenty plus, man. I got twenty plus. That's it. You gotta be ready. Because exactly you know what happens if we we, we, tra we trade those guys like the Morrises or the Paytons or whatever come deadline, and we play the young guys, they're gonna get the play. But right, the, those teams who are hungry trying to make the playoffs. From the breakdown. Plus, the thing, no problem. <laughs> right. Play your youth. Because you're not going to get that much. I agree. Gonna, that's we agree on that. If, if we're winning too many games on the stretch, if, like obviously we're not going to be in the playoff hunt, but like there will be more interest to keep playing the vets if we win a certain amount of games Early from on. February, March, yeah. as opposed to like, okay, we are out of this. We're, we're going to start RJ at the one. You know, like things like that. That should be part of the... You know, I think part of their plans, gonna like by the settle down, so who, who's gonna be a mainstay on our roster by like January first, pretty mm. much? Because the, the trade, I hope so. the guys who be signed are eligible to be traded December fifteenth. Right. I was gonna right. say by December fifteenth. Right. I was gonna say that's when we'll know. So if you know, that's still early on in the season. We're probably gonna be like twenty five to thirty games into the season at that point. They're gonna assess where we are. If we're if we're tenth, ninth, eighth seed. And we can make a playoff push and there's other and maybe another player available that's going to put us in a crossroad where like all right do we trade for this player right to push us in the playoffs or do we trade away our assets to get you know or trade like away some players to get more yeah. assets to keep us like you know what i mean feels on the table tanking so to speak for another player like it's going to come down to where we are December 15th through January 1st, and then we're gonna make a decision. But yep. even with this roster, I man, I can't see us winning less than 30 games. You shouldn't. I can't see that. A success this year will be some semblance of a narrative shift, and it's not gonna come because the media doesn't get paid to give us that narrative. They get paid to kill us. The Nets are gonna be playing well, and that's gonna be the narrative all year, and we're just gonna have to. Be on yeah, our own that. path. Yeah. Put that to the so side. We don't. Why, they they do okay, no, no, no question though, no, right? The Knicks lost my attention. Question though, why, yeah. why, yeah. why, yeah. why, why do we all care so much about the media? Like right now, right now, it's, it's the... Because, because, because of the media. No, I'll be honest, I'll tell you why. Because I was just going to say, because I, I, I truly believe that that has something to do with free agents not wanting to come there. You know? We got, we got you. But we're talking about, we're talking about long term, like... Yeah. You eventually want to be term. seen. You that eventually want to be seen as a place that people want to play. Look how far Ewing got us, only to trade him in. But Ewing, Ewing was ready start. out the gate. Mitch still needs a couple years. Like right. Ewing yeah. came into the league like 2010. Yeah, right. Ewing came into the league the best player in the nation. Yeah, right. Exactly. Like, like, media, media is a very talented. Way course. different yeah. expectations. Yeah. Media is a very talented. There's See, a lot of casual. I watched this right. I mean, he came in. He was a top. What three of three to five center his whole career? Yeah. yeah. Right, top three to five, right? That's what Hakeem, That's David, yeah. Shaq, Lonzo. Right? Who else was better than or you said they, no, yeah, they Lonzo, Lonzo? Lonzo was never top. Never better than Ewing. But yeah. I'm saying Lonzo Ewing was at least what number three or four. Yeah. Yeah. Three or four. Yeah. His whole career. And at some points he was 
probably two. Yeah, give and take. Yeah. Give and take. When first came in. I think so often Before as Shaq, Shaq turned into Shaq. I don't know the word you call us, but it's just a diehards who consume everything and read everything. We get over lost in the over. fact that a lot of people do get their information from strictly media. from the media. Yep. And they don't care that much. Yeah. On, and this is why the Knicks organization themselves cares about the messages being sent by the media. Yep. Because they do control it. Yeah. Yeah, we know their PR it's problems. The facts, man. Like, as a kid, all you had to worry about was the New York Post. You but because go outside, and then you see the newsstand. But now, at, at Twitter, like Twitter, like channels, every, everything is a joke. It's it's us. That's why, that's why I'm like, that's why I'm like more geared towards like, like private, like you know, like 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 but this in, independent Nick, Nick media because like only Nick fans understand the Knicks. Also, they're starting like, to have more and more reporters covering both teams, which is so annoying. True. It started with Bondi, and now Begley has to cover both of them for mm -hmm. SNY. Mm -hmm. He is like mm -hmm. like Berman starts to like kind of do it too. Yeah, like I, I can't I think stand. The media is, is very responsible when it comes to the Knicks because there's a there's an implicit bias, and if you if you really read between the lines, it's like they don't like Dolan. They, they right. may have like. I mean, these people are all millionaires at the end of the day, right? So who knows what business dealings and proceedings they have going on behind the lines that maybe Dolan, you know, who's, who's the man when it comes to business, probably ished on a couple of people and rubbed people the wrong That's way. With the you know what I mean? And I just feel like these people, a lot of these dudes have a vendetta, personal vendetta against Dolan, subsequently the Knicks. Because, like, I feel like the, even the fact that you guys so strongly believe that to get to 30 wins is going to be a battle, like, like I think that's the perception in the media that who was it who came out with that article was a Bondi? Like that's that's an irresponsible article that he was just trashing the Knicks. Zach Lowe. The, Zach Lowe. Yeah, Zach Lowe. I'm sorry, they, they, the Knicks do have a direction. They're moving in a yeah. certain direction. Yeah. They said that they're going with youth. They're drafting. They got about five guys who are on the same time frame. Nobody in the media mentioned that that Mitchell Robinson was second in the league in shot in block shots. That was a potential. He got votes for defensive player of the year. He got a couple of votes there. The yeah. thing about that, right? A lot of pros in your statement. But the cons are so huge, it negates almost all of it. Because we talk about young youth and rebuilding. And granted, you can get some stopgap veterans to help them along. But the kind of guys they sign make it impossible for them to us to believe that you're going to develop the youth when you're getting these guys who are in their prime that require a lot of PT and a lot of showcasing. So it's like there's two different agendas, but you're only preaching about one. And my thing is, well, with so many guys, that chemistry is never going to be there. And I, don't, and that's the th I don't think the Knicks would be getting killed right now if they were saying, hey, you know what? We struck out on free agency. We are running with our five kids. Yeah. I think expectations should be low. I think the media would actually take it a little easier but we saw Mills but and Vegas he, and he was ducking us. Yeah. Mills was ducking us and in Vegas. Not because I say anything. We, we act like we were Mills ducked it. Oh yeah, no, no, this yeah, is the Chris plan we Chris wanted Mills. all along. Like we, get, yeah, you know, we Julius Randle, like the, yeah. this is the, this is the answer we had all along. Like, come on, man. We, we figured out it was Mills walking we through. He was like, yo, what's up, Mills? Mills was like, hey guys. He started walking. Chris was like, yo, we should talk. And he started walking off like, oh, he wasn't ready for it. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. It's like. There's a lot of things that consider coming into this year, but I mean, if you want a crazy bold prediction like there's something nuts, man, I, I feel like we're gonna win over 35 games. We're gonna be in the double last season. Yeah, without a doubt, man. I, I look at the, at the game by game. Seems like the, uh, the the Celtics. You don't think we can steal one or two wins from that? We're playing four times. That offense is elite, man. Frank already did. Elite. Frank already did I, one. I, I so think, now I think we, well, Boston's I mean, offense is going to be elite. We beat the Celtics last year. 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 But that team, that, 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 that Celtics know. team last year, like chemistry Detroit problems, team. not talent yeah. problems. So what, why are you so sure that they're going to they're not going to have because Kemba is Because Kemba is a way better fit than Kyrie. In what sense? Because he's low maintenance and he does he's not going to be a special not exactly what Kyrie does, but way less efficient. No, but he, less but he's more willing he's to do it though. He he at least he's less efficient from the floor. He's Wait. not a good passer. He is a good passer. He's not a good passer. Charlotte had nobody to pass it to. Who, who, is Kem, 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 who is the second best player in Charlotte? Kemba's not Williams. Who is the second best player in Charlotte? Kemba's not If Kyrie had Kemba's option. If you had the ball in your hands that, that much, you should be able to generate assists. 
You should, you should be. Him and Kyrie average about five and six. And but that's not good. If you're a point guard, yeah, that's a good It depends on the kind of offense you run. The only weak spot is their center. Yeah, the whole game. You can't have more than five and six. Yeah, I don't like the game. Boston got three. If you're going to lose four for wide open for yeah. But no. but Cantor can is a low post option where all those guys like to shoot out on the perimeter and play out. Like they don't like to bang. They have a banging option now, which is which just helps because it gets a consistent shooter on, 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 on that team. Uh you got Tatum this year. He's a consistent shooter. He's probably one of their best shooters, but he's, I wouldn't call him a consistent outside shooter. Uh, he doesn't even want to he can don't shoot. want to sit in the Campbell can shoot. I would say Campbell. Nah, his three is right. good. You he, undersell he, him he now. He stepped it up. He stepped it up from his three. He's shooting like 30, 30 something. 38? He's, he's high. He's shooting, that but kid Carson Edwards might be, might be Carson Edwards. Carson Edwards. 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 Because the team is trying to run that team. They can't draft. They can't draft. It's the Marbury story all over again. Kemba's best player his whole run was an old Al Jefferson. In the year Al Jefferson played good, they got to the playoffs. And challenged Miami. They took Miami to seven. Didn't he have like that 60 game and then they still lost? Or 60 point game or 50 or 40 or whatever. And he still lost. That's a sign right there. You can only carry this. You can only carry the team so far. Philly was nice. Philly's beast. Boston. Detroit's going to be better. I think Detroit's going to be better. Detroit should be better. They evened out a little bit. Detroit will be better. Indiana will be good again. Orlando. Indiana. got people that are sleeping on Indiana. Indiana. They say no people will come back in December. That's December? Alright. But they got guys to hold it down until it gets there. Miami's going to be better with Jimmy Butler. Right. And Jimmy Buckets. They'll probably be an AC. But all those so teams, they lose, to me, uh, they lose uh, much better. Uh, uh, Jason Richardson. Josh Richardson. Josh Richardson, yeah. yeah. I don't think Jason. it's crazy. I don't think I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to put that juju out there, and I, my feelings got hurt last year, so I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, man, we can get it. But I don't think it's as crazy as a lot of people do think to go 35, 38. Like it could happen because you know what? If everyone is is practices what they preach and they buy into not getting as many minutes they buy into just being a vet buy into i'm gonna play 20 tonight but i ain't gonna play tomorrow like if those kind of things happen the three game losing streak they still got the morale and then they come back on top like if those kind of things happen it's not crazy but at the same time these are a lot of guys on contract for the first time coming together on the team it's, 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 it's great right it's, 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 it's a lot of those that. points you make but also some sports in general like you look at it statistically teams don't make that jump it doesn't happen to, you don't go it's Teams don't make a 20 win jump. Right. You know, Especially if there's really no elite guys. Brand no elite guys. Great year, you make it even the great year, then you make a 10 win jump. And especially like if they're, they're a brand the new Warriors, team. Essentially, they, or the Lakers, oh, they, the oh, Kobe Shack, yeah. they made like a 10 win jump, like or 12 win jump, with, with superstar players. So to have a team full of misfits, for lack of a better word, like, I don't Playing for the first time. No, if, we look, if, we, if we get seven more wins, we get the 25. Be right. happy. Yeah. Like, 20 plus, baby. All right, so uh, final points. Yo, final points, man. I think we're having a great yeah, discussion. Yeah. Well, West Coast, Knicks, Tom. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. David Fruit and Nick definitely appreciate it. My man, Nick Alexander. Okay. You know what I'm Podcast Super Hoopers. Uh, podcast is at the Super Hoopers. Yep, that's the podcast name. <laughs> uh, yeah, follow me at Nigga Comedy, and I got a, a podcast too at For the Culture Live. You know, I just talk about everything that's going on in the culture. I sprinkle a little bit of Nick's activity in there. But, you know. Spell that out. Uh, for the Culture, F O R T H E C U L T U R E L I V E. So, okay. For the Culture Live okay. at Nigga Comedy. Oh my God! Sorry, sorry, that threw me off. That's just that's the best sound. <laughs> that's it. That's the name. Uh, yeah, CK2K everywhere. Nothing else to that. That's it. I'm, I'm so I'm just a guy, man. I don't have a podcast, but I'm just representing our team. You know, I got my hands. I'm out here in the trenches in the ocean of purple and gold, man. Yeah, there you go. Hold it down, man. Hold it down, bro. Yeah, I'm w World Wide West. The podcast is coming soon, man. It's gonna be World Wide Knicks. Stay okay. tuned for that. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll, I'll announce or make a couple announcements leading up to that. Till, till then, catch me on a uh, CP show. You know what I mean? On one of these other outlets, calling in, ranting, and raving. You know what I mean? That's about it, man. Charles, in there. Y'all ain't got nothing to plug, man. Big Chino, Jackson Heights, Inglewood. We out here. Uh, follow me, Del Blog. I'm on Twitter. Watch Knicks Fan TV. 
Obviously, CT doing his thing. You guys been watching, so just keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you guys coming out, spending some time. Nick's for life, bro. Good stuff, fellas.